Okay, welcome back to Try This Spot, where we try the best places in LA and give you all the recommendations so you can avoid all the nonsense places like Applebee's. By the way, if you do travel and you go to a different city and you try a place like Applebee's, I don't think this show is for you. <laughs> Just don't even hit me up. I don't know if we can be friends. Today, we are trying Sonora Town in downtown LA. So I've heard about this place many times. I tried it recently, like um, maybe a month ago. It definitely lives up to the hype. It's really good. First off, flour-based tortilla. Nah, I mean, I'm not, I wasn't super excited about it until I tried this place. Like the, the tortilla was actually fire. The meat was amazing. Like everything about it was really good. But the thing that was so really exciting for me was actually this too. Uh, horchata. <laughs> Why are you smirking in the back? Because you don't like horchata. I, I do like horchata. No, you, I, you were excited about it. I was excited about it. All right, maybe I'm fluffing it up a little bit. Like. I like horchata, okay? It's great. But then when they make it with coconut milk, like, it's fire because, again, I'm lactose intolerant, but I can actually drink this without hating myself later. Fire. So good. Um, horchata, it's basically rice milk. <laughs> I think it is. This, this show isn't about, like, teaching you about food. It's, like, the best places to eat. I'll describe it. Um, hopefully, you knew, like, my food recommendations. But overall, this thing tastes like cinnamon, milk, and coconut. If you like horchata and you want like a vegetarian option, get this one. A vegetarian option because horchata is not Okay, <laughs> all right. Okay, vegan option, all right. <laughs> so actually another thing about this place, I was watching some videos about it. Started by this couple named Tio and Jen. They met at a restaurant and then also he eventually brought her to his hometown in Mexico called Sonora. And I guess they have tortillas differently there. So they brought that flavor back here, made it in downtown, and then realized over time that a lot of people love the spot and it's super delicious. She didn't know how to use Instagram. She started posting pictures, people loved it, and it grew. What a great story, right? That's, to me, that's a modern love story. Instagram, tacos, burritos, food. That's how we met, actually. Let's do the burrito first. Also, we got uh, three salsas today. We got green salsa, avocado sauce, and spicy chutepin salsa. Okay, got the green sauce on the burrito. Uh, you know, I think in Sonora, it's illegal to eat a bite of burrito with no salsa. Wow. Okay, another thing, I didn't grow up with burritos. <laughs> like, everything I eat, I'm eating basically, I didn't grow up with. Except raw shrimp. Except raw shrimp, obviously. The, the thing about this burrito that's really good, really, is the tortilla. They're, it's made with a manteca or lard. <laughs> You can definitely taste it. It's something different about the tortilla. Uh, so it's supposed to be chewy. They also mentioned in the video that it's supposed to be chewy, kind of like um, like a dumpling, like the texture of it. But yeah, they grill it, and also you can see the black char marks on it. But yeah, the meat is fire, the uh, steak, the pinto beans, the um, cheese in it. Like everything about this burrito is really good. Like I was, I mean, I really was skeptical because there's, there's so many spots in LA that sell burritos. I mean, I've had like maybe 15 different burrito spots in LA, right? Like they're all good in their own way, but this one is just different. Just because one, there's no rice in it. Typically you do see rice in them. This one doesn't have it. This one has a lot of flavor, but really the tortilla makes it really different. Cause I think a lot of tortillas, a lot of burrito spots, they um, probably use like the packaged one, which is no problem. But I'm saying the tortilla here is really good. All right, we got the red sauce on it too. Let's take another bite. Mm. Spice true. So what's so good about burritos is that Perfect harmony of all the flavors, meat, bean, cheese, sauce, tortilla. I also judge a restaurant depending on how good they wrap their burritos. Like if you open it and it just starts spilling out, then you go, hey, I don't know about the spot. Why are you looking at me like that? Because that just means they put a whole lot of filling in it. There's no, just, that. it, it, that's a problem. If it's like too much filling, right? Like, okay, Chipotle, it's good, but they overdo it sometimes and they don't wrap it per perfectly every time. You disagree? Mm -hmm. If you disagree, I can't talk to you. I just, I don't know if this makes sense for us anymore. Okay, well, um, we're getting a divorce. Are we a divorce? Mm -hmm. All right, I think this is a good one. Start packing your things. <laughs> Pack your <laughs> and get out. <laughs> That's what she says to me like every day, so I'm used to it by now. The next one, we're doing tacos. All right, so we got a few tacos, two tacos. Three, three tacos actually. All right, we got one more burrito than two tacos. We got the bean and cheese. Burrito. So quick story on bean and cheese. I was shocked to find out people just eat bean and cheese burritos. Like, I'm not from LA, so don't judge me. But really, I was shook. Cause like, how good can bean and cheese in a tortilla be? But then I tried it at Burritos La Palma and it changed my life 
For real. Why are you judging me over there? Because you can't even pronounce burritos. Hey, look. Just because I can't pronounce something doesn't mean I don't appreciate it. <laughs> I can't say your name, but I appreciate you. All right, let's try this. Oh my God, this one's so good. <laughs> I think I like the bean and cheese even more. You can taste all that fat. The bean, I think, is made with manteca. I don't know if this place definitely does it, but I think I taste it. <laughs> Look, the point is, I'm not an expert. I just like what I eat, all right? You can stop guessing, just say it's delicious, just because it's delicious. All right, let's try it with some sauce. I can taste the lard that may or may not be in there. I can't promise it. It's definitely in the, in the tortilla, though. Another pro tip. If you don't drink horchata, try it with a Coke. Like, I think Coke pairs perfectly with burritos, burritos. I mean, why are you laughing? <laughs> Every time I say something in Spanish, you get giggles in the back. It's like, idiot. With burritos? Because you keep not pronouncing the R. I can't speak well, all right? But the point is, burritos and tacos, they go really well with a Coke. I'm not sponsored, but maybe in the future. <laughs> okay, next one we're eating is the taco. Uh, this one is tripa, or crispy tripe. Uh, I think tripe is cow belly. Intestines. Intestines, okay. All I know is tripa, we, we typically make like soup out of it. It's really good. I've just never had it in a taco. So first time trying it. This taco has, uh, so it's flour tortilla. Salsa roja, um, avocado, and cabbage. Mm, interesting. Super spicy, I put too much red sauce on it. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't think I really like tripe. Everything else is good. Like, all the ingredients. It's just, tripe for me is just not my thing. Other than when it's in soup. It has like a, a gamey texture. It's still a good taco though. I do recommend it. But I do recommend trying the beef instead of the tripe. <laughs> I'm not saying the tripe here is bad. It's just tripe isn't for me. <laughs> okay, on to the next one. So this is the caramelo. It's with flour tortilla, pinto beans, Monterey Jack cheese, avocado, salsa roja, and cabbage. Just regular old carne asada. It is my go-to meat. Don't think I'm gonna do tripe again, ever. Oh, also, uh, this place comes with radishes. Radishes to me are my favorite things to eat with tacos. Why are you laughing? I you said it in English instead of Spanish. I didn't know you said No matter what I do, like, I wish there was a camera watching her. Cause like, no matter what I say, she's like, ha 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 ha. Say it in Spanish. No matter what. There's a reason you're not saying English. Okay, in Spanish it's rabano. Word of the day, rabano. All right. It's like a potato chip that pairs perfectly well with it. It's like zero calories. So I just get, I stock up on a bunch of these. Like in LA, when you go to a taco spot, I have a bunch of these just on the side. I just grab a bunch. And eat them with like every bite. It's, it's so good. It's one of my favorite things. They also give you this. I think it's a shallot or green onion. Grilled. Take a bite? No, ew. Oh, that's good. Good. I like green onions. No, it's good. No, it's good. <laughs> Look at this thing. This is not a taco. Legally speaking, this is a burrito. It's like a burrito baby. I had a taco and a burrito had a baby. Mm, it's really good. It's like a burrito. It's just shaped funny. <laughs> so I had this last time. I thought it was fire. Again, I still think it's fire. It's just for me personally, I just like a lot of salsa on my tacos, burritos, and caramelos. I just like the drench in salsa. I also judge places based on their salsa. Like, it has to have it has to be spicy. A hint of vinegar. Not too watery. It's like my perfect salsa. Also, if you don't eat your tacos with cilantro and cebolla or onions, I don't know if we can be friends. So that about wraps it up. Um, so today we had the uh, burrito 2.0. Bean and cheese, little burrito, uh, two tacos, one taco with tripa, a caramelo with the sala. Also, we got some salsa, the red, green, and the chitepin. And finally, the horchata. So the move at this restaurant, uh, I definitely recommend 
getting the beet and cheese burrito, uh, get the burrito 2.0 with asada, and probably a taco. And I do recommend the horchata, try that. Overall, all this was about like 20, like $22. So it's a really good deal. I'm sure there are like cheaper spots in LA, but this is like, you know, it's higher quality. The tortilla is definitely different. It's, it's amazing. One of the best I've ever had. I think the meat's really good too. And honestly, that horchata is just so different. I definitely recommend checking that out. Finally, go support your local restaurants because the pandemic is getting closer to the finish line, but a lot of restaurants have closed down. We do want to support all the local restaurants, right? Ignore Applebee's, ignore PJ Friday's or whatever. Like, they'll be fine. It's your local restaurants that you do want to support. Check out the stickers on our website. We have a bunch of these. We also have the foods that we had here. So like the burrito, it's not a 2.0 burrito, but it is a burrito. We also have tacos and we also have horchata. Follow us if you want to see her laughing at me all the time. Uh, follow us on Instagram to check out more food. Send me a message if you want me to check out a certain restaurant. Wait, hold on. Hold on.